everyone! So, I have to be honest with you guys, I can be pretty lazy sometimes, especially on the weekends, in the wintertime, when it's cold and overcast and cloudy and just like all around goodness. That's my checklist for a good day. So I have for you my lazy winter day routine. This is what I typically do on a day where I'm being super lazy and all I want to do is just chill and relax and just take a little bit more time to focus on me, I guess. You know when you're feeling a little tired and you just need some good R&R. &R. So I hope you enjoy! So right when I get up, I always check my phone. I go straight to my emails and then I usually follow it up with my socials, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's a huge waste of time, I feel like, but I enjoy it. After I get up, my makeup usually consists of just foundation and then I just do my hair. Most of the time when I'm feeling lazy, I just pull everything back and into some sort of braid. Today I decided to go for a fishtail braid and it's actually really not that hard. It's very simple once you figure out what you're supposed to be doing. But normally I just use a regular braid but I was feeling a little adventurous I suppose. And you gotta make sure that it stays put with a little bit of hairspray. Then, on my lazy winter days, I usually like to grab a big sweater and some yoga pants, and that's my outfit for the day. Of course, I have to start my mornings with tea, and today I decided to make a London Fog Tea Latte. They're amazing and a little more time consuming, but on those days where I have nothing to do, it's really nice to take a little bit of extra time to treat yourself to something yummy. Now, syrups have a lot of sugar and I didn't realize how sweet this tea was gonna be and I added a little too much. So you can add as much as you want or as little as you want depending on your taste. I probably would have done like maybe one tablespoon. So the difference between tea and a tea latte is that you're gonna have foam and whipped milk. So this thing is awesome, it's called an Aero Latte, and what it does is that it makes your plain old milk frothy and tastes like it came from a coffee shop. So this is my all-time favorite breakfast. Whenever I have all of the ingredients, I always make it. It's always super tasty and filling and goes great with tea. A lot of people don't like mayonnaise, especially in the morning, but I like to add a little bit of mayo, especially when you pair it with avocado. It just tastes unbelievable. So the next ingredient is avocado. Now, people might think I'm weird, but when I slice my avocado, and I put it on toast. I always like to mash it because it won't fall off that way. It's easier to eat and it won't slide off the toast. Doesn't look so pretty, but it all goes down the same. Next, thinly slice your tomato and then add it to your toast. This seasoning is the best seasoning ever and it's called Everyday Seasoning by Trader Joe's and it just tastes good on everything. This diffuser is amazing. It adds like a little bit of scent and aromatherapy to your room and it's really relaxing. My favorite essential oil is Balance by doTERRA and it's just this really sweet, woodsy smelling scent that I just can't get enough of. And it helps promote relaxation, which is always a plus. Once everything is prepped, I like to sit down with a book or my Kindle, depending on what I'm reading, and just hang out for a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I have a question for you. What is one thing that you do on your lazy day that you really enjoy doing? And I will see you very soon. Bye.